Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am at a workers camp called Tyndale Worker Accommodation Village in Catherine, Northern Territory, Australia. First of all, I will tell you all what is a workers camp or work accommodation village. In Australia, there are a lot of bush areas and remote places. When construction works going on in the remote places, workers from city will go there, stay for a period of time and work on those projects. The places where workers stay are called as workers camp or work accommodation village. These camps are situated in the middle of bush and remote places but they will have all the basic facilities. I am at a similar camp like that and in today's video we are going to see how this camp is and what are the facilities available here for the workers. Before we go into the camp, I would like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's start. This workers camp, Tyndale Worker Accommodation Village is situated in a small town called Catherine in Northern Territory, Australia. This camp can accommodate more than 200 people at the same time and currently this camp is nearly full. All the workers staying here in this camp are working in various projects in Catherine, Northern Territory, Australia. This is the entrance board of this camp guys. Let's go inside. Now the time is evening 6 o'clock. As you see guys, this is the car park of this camp. Almost everyone staying here, finished their work and came back to the camp. The reception of this camp is at the front there. Let's go there first. At the entrance, there is a bus service available for the workers who go to work on a bus from here. This is the reception of this camp. This is where all the check-in and check-out activities are registered and monitored. It is open till 5 pm and closed now. Let's go around this camp and see what are the places and facilities available here. This is the swimming pool of this workers camp guys. You can see there are a few rules to be obeyed while using this swimming pool. This swimming pool is a small, tidy and a beautiful one. As it is winter season now, the water is very cold and no one is using this pool currently. When we come past the swimming pool, we can find the gym of this workers camp. Let's go inside this gym and have a look. There are a couple of guys working out now. This gym is a small one, but it has the essential working out equipments and machines. Alright guys, now we are out of the gym and let's go to the next place.
There are a few direction boards installed on the top to find the places and the next place we are going is first aid and drug test room. Normally in a workers camp all the workers should do the drug and alcohol testing before the start of work every day. This is the room where all the drug and alcohol testing take place. When you see that side, you can see a first aid room here. Just opposite to those two rooms, there is a bathroom and couple of change rooms available. There is also an outdoor gym in the camp guys. Now let's go and see how the rooms are allocated here in this camp. As I said before there are more than 200 rooms in this camp and they have been separated into blocks like A, B, C, D and so on. I would say most of the blocks are having 16 rooms and the block just coming opposite to us is B block. You can see the board on either sides. When we go past B block, we can go to the C block. This is the C block. When you see right hand side, there are rooms from C1 to C8. And just opposite to that, there are rooms from C9 to C16. Rooms are located just like this, opposite to each other. There are also garbage bins placed for every four rooms. And as you see guys, there are fire hose reels installed in each block as fire safety element. You can also see few barbecue areas among the rooms. These barbecue areas are mostly used on weekends and people can have barbecue and few beers sitting here. All these rooms are installed beautifully in rows and in the middle of each block you can see a grass lawn area and few trees planted. This place is really beautiful guys. The next place we are going to go is this room. This room is an ice room. This is an ice machine and it continuously produces ice cubes. The workers work here, pack their skis with ice cubes in the mornings and leave to work. There is a tap available here in this room where you can get cool water. From here you can clearly see the front view of this camp.
There are also a couple of more rooms here. One is cleaner's room and the other one is linen store. Alright guys, now I am going to the new section of this camp which was constructed during the extension of the existing village. This section is having elevated rooms and you can see there are guardrails installed on both sides of the walkways. These are the rooms in the new section and you can see there are a few landscape works yet to be finished here. In this kind of workers camp, people can't smoke in all areas. There are a few areas allocated for smoking and you can see a smoking shelter just ahead of us. The next place we are going now is bar and dining room area. Let's go there. This is the area outside the bar and dining room and you can see few people are having beers after work. That is the bar of this camp guys. Let's go and have a quick look. At the entrance there is a cigarette vending machine in this bar. This is the counter of this bar and normally they sell only beer items. There's a dartboard available in this bar and also a pool table. You can see a couple of people are playing pool here. When you see this side, you can see few lads having beers and chilling out. The next place we are going is dry recreation area. In this room, people can relax after work. They got some books here to read and if anyone wants to watch TV, they can come here and watch TV. There are also a fridge and microwave available in this room. Also, people can make tea and coffee here. Just near to the dry recreation, they have a couple of lime trees and a curry leaves tree. Now let's go to the dining room guys. There are a few rules applicable in this dining room. You cannot wear work wears or singlets or gym gears inside and they have mentioned the dining room hours here. Every day they put the menu served here in this TV screen. You can see the menu tonight. 
This is a buffet system and you can get your own food from the hot buffet. There is also a cold well in this dining room which usually has some salad, fruits and desserts. There is a tea and coffee making area in this dining room and after that is breakfast bar which is having oats and bread toaster. You can also see few drinks here. Look at this fridge guys. There are drinks, sauces, bread and butter available in this fridge. You can feel free to use them. There are a couple of freezers available here. One is having pies and frozen foods and other one is having some variety of ice creams. This is my dinner tonight guys. I have got some veggies, couple of slices of roasted beef and pesto penne pasta. All right guys, dinner is finished. I'm just gonna return the dish to the dishwashing area just ahead of us. That is the dining area guys and outside of that there are a couple of vending machines available here. Tonight is the third game of State of Origin. So these guys in the cam are watching here in the big screen. Look at this cam in the night time guys, it's very beautiful. The next place we are going now is laundry room. You can see the letter L2 and that means this is the second laundry here. This is the laundry guys. On the left hand side there are some washing machines and on the right hand side you can see some dryers. There is also an iron board available in the joinery hanging on the wall guys. The final place we are going to visit in this camp is my room. Let's go there. My room number is H7 and this is my room guys. There is no key to open this door but a key card. You can see that one with my name on it. Let's open the door and go inside. All the rooms in this camp are just like this guys. There is a desk available there. There is a TV available and opposite to the TV is our bed. You can watch movies or games or anything while laying on your bed. There is also a wardrobe available on the other side of the bed and you can see a sofa on this side. 
You can also see a bar fridge, some drawers and a cupboard to keep our stuffs. This is the toilet and bathroom attached to this room guys. There is also a back door and a window available in this room and when you open the back door you can go to the balcony of this room. That is the dining area guys and you can see the people already started watching the rugby tonight. Alrighty guys, that's the end of this video. I have shown you how an Australian workers camp is and what are the facilities available here. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.